two stations working together from the North America, Mix Radio International, and from the Netherlands. Europe, Cool AM Radio. Feel free to send reception reports to mix.radio.international at protonmail.com. That is mix.radio.international at protonmail.com. Thank you. Operation Overlord. D Day the 6th of June, 1944. A special remembrance program brought to you by two stations working together from the North American, Mix Radio International, and from the Netherlands, Europe, Cool AM Radio.
not proceed with the German drive on Stalingrad until he had secured the crossings of the Middle Don in the area of Gornesh. And Adolf Hitler didn't like this delay. He overruled Marshal von Bock. He took personal command himself, and we all know what happened at Stalingrad. So this is really a very hopeful sign. Operation Overlord, a special remembrance program commemorating D-Day, June 6, 1944, the Allied landings on the coast of Normandy in France. The special program is a co-production from two stations working together, from the North America's Mix Radio International and from the Netherlands' Europe Cool AM Radio. Feel free to send reception reports to mix.radio.international at protonmail.com. That is mix.radio.international at protonmail.com. Thank you. George Fielding Elliott discussing the situation as we know it up to this moment. And uh, now that uh, dawn has indeed come up over the city of New York, perhaps this would be the proper moment to give you somewhat of a capitulation. I've been trying to give you a summary you know, all through the night as the uh, night began to fade away into the early dawn. But each time before I could, uh, we got word that a broadcast from London was coming up or from somewhere in Britain, and we had to switch so rapidly that uh, it was uh, really a series of interruptions from our newsroom here in New York, which, of course, was uh, quite fitting and proper. Now, first, let's go over the chronology a little bit. We've been on the air uh, night here at Columbia's news headquarters in New York. Uh, we started at 12.37 Eastern War Time when the German news agency Transocean broadcast that the Allied invasion had begun. That is 37 minutes past midnight New York time, and that's when we began our broadcasts. We uh, came on the air about every 15 minutes, as I recall. It seems like a long time ago at that point, giving you the, uh, the stories which were coming out of Europe very slowly, all put out by the Germans. And we continued our programs and continued uh, to uh, in not interrupt our, broadcast our regular programs. So we continued to come on about every 15 minutes or half hour with a news broadcast. Then at 3 o'clock in the morning, New York time... We started this particular broadcast, which has never stopped, because 32 minutes after we started it and were still discussing the reports which were coming out of Germany, suddenly we got the word to switch to London. Colonel Dupuis of the United States Army read communique number one, and the invasion had begun officially. Now, let's go over this chronology just a little bit. I'm sure that while a number of you must have been with us all night on this broadcast, still there are others who are now getting up and uh, who are joining joining us and who perhaps haven't heard that the invasion has begun, the liberation of the continent of Europe has started. So let's go over the chronology briefly. At 12.37 in the morning, 37 minutes past midnight Eastern War Time, Transocean, a German news agency, broadcast the Allied invasion had begun. At 1 o'clock in the morning, Eastern War Time, the DNB agency broadcast that the French harbor, or port rather, the French port of La Havre was being bombarded violently and that German naval craft were fighting Allied landing craft off the coast. Nearly an hour later, at 1.56 in the morning, all times Eastern War Time, Calais Radio, controlled by the Germans, Calais Radio said, this is D-Day. At 2.31 in the morning, a spokesman from General Eisenhower broadcast from London to warn the people of the European invasion coast that a new phase of the Allied air 